All right. Like I said, we're not done yet. You might recognize this Sin Spawn. Back at the Kilika Temple, it was called Sin Spawn Geno. Now it's Sin Spawn Gene. All right. You know the deal. Let's scan. That's mostly what Kimari does for me. Sadly. That's ah, not so sad. Not everyone can be the all-star team. You pick three, generally. Since Bon Genet, after losing half its HP, it enters its shell on its next turn. If hit there, it recovers with Cura, and next is the shell on its next turn. Protected from Gravija when inside the shell. Well, looks like this sin also does Gravija. Rip and Peace Kimari. Luckily, I'm wearing Auto Phoenix armor. It's pretty handy. Alright. Let's get this show on the road. 20k. Oh, I almost one-shot it. Alright. Let's make sure we steal from it before it goes away. We could have mugged there to kill it, but I want to overkill it. So how about Auron? You do the honors. So much for Sin Sponge and A. But this boss fight is not done yet. The core still gathers energy. Alright, who hasn't done anything yet? Lulu hasn't done anything. Let's steal. Um, who hasn't done anything yet? Yuna hasn't done anything yet. She could maybe heal herself, wouldn't be a bad idea. And Kimari scanned, Waka attacked, Titus hasted. We're good, we're good to go. Could use another scan, actually. I kind of want to know how much health this has. It's the same type of fight as the fins, but more, well, intense. Core begins to energize, unleashing Gravija. Yeah, same sort of deal. Nowhere near as much health, though. We can take this out. However, this spell will hurt. It also looks pretty cool. Well, luckily we're pretty much switching out all these people. Ah, we're gonna need to armor break this. Maybe worth healing, honestly. Mm. Yeah, I think it is. He can't heal himself, sadly. But he can use an Albed Potion! That's only a thousand health, but hey. We have lots of them. Um, how about we bring in Titus, and Titus actually hastes Yuna, so she can heal a bit more. Another potion. Why not? I want to make sure no one is in, like, desperately low health, you know? Okay. It's you again. Stamina Spring! Uh, it's gathering energy. Another Gravija is coming up. Can we take it out before that? Yes, we can! Head 
Riku, Aklama! It's going to come back, isn't it? I know. What? You're kidding me! No, we have to beat the guy inside, Sin. The Crusaders would be out of a job if it was this easy, huh? But it has weakened. I'm sure of it. Yeah! We're winning! Alright, I'll do what I can with the main gun. It's almost over. But not quite. Man, we must have hit that thing enough by now. You'd think so. Pops Machina always seem to break when you need them most. Isn't that always the way? I think it's a little early to start celebrating. You and me both. This isn't over. Not yet. Sin still lives. Kimari knows. Yeah, it's not gonna be that easy. If Subject is in pain... Let's just end this. Quickly. The Faith said they'd help us, right? It bothers me, the way they said that. Huh? I mean, they've been fighting alongside us this whole time, but now they say they'll help? I guess so. Wait. Sin is reborn when Yu Yevon merges with an Aeon. Isn't that right? If I summon an Aeon, Yu Yevon will join with it. But at first, it'll be small, won't it? Yeah. Then we might be able to beat it without the final summoning. I don't know. What if Yu Yevon jumps again? Then we'll take it down again. We'll fight him until there's no place left to run. I never thought it would come down to this. Yeah, I know. Hey, the Faith, they're tired of this whole thing too. Let's let them rest. The Faith said it's pointless to keep dreaming. The dream will disappear, he said. What did he mean? And... What is it that Yu Yevon is summoning from within Sin? The dream of the Faith. You won't go away, will you? waiting for you. Well, son, the main gun is still busted. We can't give you any cover fire. Hey, just take us in. We'll do the rest. I 
All right. Take us up, flush to the mouth! No mistakes, or I'm gonna tear out that mop you call hair! Uh, trust me. Me, take you there. No problem, yeah? Let's get ready to blitz! Let's go. Just you and me. The affection thing does feel a little bit weird. Where pretty much the story is 100% Titus and Yuna. But then I get these tiny moments with Lulu randomly. Ah well. No time like the present. We're not done with Sin yet. Sin starts far away, and he also starts with an overdrive meter. Let me tell you, letting that overdrive meter hit is bad news. Not bad news is in a lot of damage. Not bad news is in, oh, you die. Bad news as in, game over. So this fight is on the clock. We need to do things quickly. We are still too far away, so we're gonna do the standard thing of letting everyone have a go. Lulu. Yuna. A Riku. Who can't quite steal yet, I think. No. Uh, let's have Waka then for an attack. It's still armor protected though. Um, should we scan? Let's scan. But this is Sin. No more jokes. No more Sin core. Sin's fin. Just Sin. Giga Graviton. Stop him before he wipes everyone out. He has 140,000 HP. Alright. Um, have, have everyone done anything? Yeah. Okay. Everyone is hasted. We're waiting for the next, um... Draw in. Which is now. Now you're close enough. Uh, let's bring in Riku just for the steal. I don't think it's anything important, but hey, a supreme gem. We're doing a lot of damage now. Why did that do so little damage? Strange. All right. Did we get any sort of status attacks from that? No. Back in with Titus. 23. Ho ho, 37. It's, it's tempting to sit around and wait. But, um, I think I'm gonna finish it with a spiral cut.
you. We must go to him. Then we will. Let me take front. Good luck. Follow me. So we've made it. Inside Sin. The final area of the game. And you recognized that laugh, didn't you? And that eye. Looks like there's still one final fight with Seymour coming. This is a fairly big area, as is fitting for the last one, but it is the final area. We're not quite at the point of no return yet, so there's still time for a side quest or two. Particularly, we're going to the Omega Dungeon, if you remember that one as listed in the Master Arena. This is now the airship music. I like it quite a bit. It really sets the tone. We've been through a lot, yeah? And hey, we're not finished yet! True. No matter what happens, I'll see this through to the end. I promise. You've proven yourself as a guardian. Maybe even as the best. Aw, thanks, Lulu. Sometimes, when I got a lot on my mind, it just helps to go... Jesus, that was high-pitched. And there's no more the final showdown for Jin. Now he says... You're counting on me, kid. Which I like quite a bit. We can still travel to Sin. And if we do... Here we go! We see this beautiful little thing again. And we appear here, inside Sin. This place is interesting. There's no real terrain, no real paths, just these misformed roads where you can go and slowly explore the path. There's some definite tough enemies in here. These are the Gemini. They are basically like the Iron Giants you saw in Thunder Plains, but obviously way stronger. They always show up in twos, which is fitting. Gemini means twin. We're bringing the capture weapons because, as always, we want to capture. So we're mostly uh, limited to 10,000 damage each, which means it takes a couple of turns. In theory, you could put break damage limit on your capture weapons, but that is a massive waste of resources. Generally, you're only going to break the damage limit with your celestial weapons, which is fine. The symbols here are so interesting. That that Yavan symbol we see all the time, you know, the symbol of of the J Yavan clergy. Makes sense in retrospect, considering what we found out about you, Yavan. This is the Adamantois, another big giant armored beast. He has a few uh, strong attacks, but nothing that's going to outright kill us right now. And he's pretty slow. So add on to that the first strike we have on our weapons and we get a lot of free attacks on him. Before we eventually capture him. And learn Hero. Just, you know, just because. Hero is basically a doom attack against a much more powerful enemy. There's some sort of formula, I think it depends on HP or whatever. But yeah, you can notice on the map that we have to explore the path to go for ourselves. This is the first time I've seen any of that. These are the last little Funk Wars. Funk, for mushroom dudes in the game. Uh, once we've captured enough of these, we will be able to fight the um, Fungwar species c creation thing back in the Monster Arena. That's part of the reason we wanted to go here. I mean, the main reason is because this is the end of the game. There is a lot of chests here, and they can get quite tricky to get, because there's waterfalls and stuff, or if it is water. This is the Behemoth King. The behemoth we faced before was pretty tough. This guy, since he's a king, is even tougher. Now, one thing that does make this guy a little bit easier, actually, at least for the first couple of times you fight him, is that normally when he dies, he has, like, this end-of-fight counterattack. But if you capture him, that doesn't happen. So, the first couple of fights against this guy is easier than others. He does drop, like, keys first and stuff, which is nice. You can't walk up this little quote-unquote waterfall, sadly. And at this point on, I'm getting tired of facing all the enemies, so I'm putting on no encounters. 
We're gonna run around and find the rest. So we're inside Sin, and you keep seeing these symbols, these Yevon symbols. Like I mentioned, like now it makes sense. You Yevon bonds with the Fine Leon, and then absorbs the power with it, unites it, and weaves and creates this armor called Sin. Together they unite and become this destructive force. Now, the Faith said that Yu Yevon wasn't good or evil, it just summons, and that's what it does. But we know that Jekt isn't evil either, so where does the Sin's destruction come from? There must be something in that sort of union that creates a destructive force that makes this as dangerous as it is. Well, either way, we, we've shut down Sin for now, so for a while, uh, Spear is actually safe. Uh, but obviously we want to make this calm an eternal calm. Chests there aren't super great, there's some nice stuff, but, you know, we always want to explore everything. We approach the save sphere, which means something big is coming. The path here can be a little bit tricky, because it's all covered up in fog and there's no straight way to go. But the minimap does help with that. You just have to sort of take it in turns. These stairs look ominous. 